Good morning, afternoon, or evening, lovely lords and ladies of YouTube. Yeah, welcome to another thrill minute action packed, exceptionally climbing episode of Twisted Trails Riding Deep. Today finds me here at Southview Trail System in Cedar City, currently climbing, liking it on my trusty Fuel EX5. 2020 model uh, soon to be replaced by a, a some unknown e-bike right now uh, in the lead is a used 2020 or no 2019 YT decoy base model that the guy is selling for uh, pretty much the retail value of a new one but in this <laughs> interesting time frame that we find ourselves uh, it might be the best I get so we'll see uh, I'm gonna ride it um, apparently there's some sizing strangeness with the uh, the white tees we'll see about all that uh, so in the future, a uh, climbing intro might be uh, a little bit easier. We'll see. All right, so uh, I'll uh, I'll continue this in a minute when I can actually breathe. <laughs> everybody so now we've made it up to where are we at jolly giant um, downhill one way you can see that um, on liking it and uh, normally this takes me probably about 15 minutes because I'm fat and slow um, today it took me about 25 minutes because I was filming some sweet sweet riding action of me slowly coming up the hill <laughs> for your viewing entertainment so purpose of today's video is that this might be my last ride on the uh, mighty purple beast here uh, as I hope to be getting a sweet sweet uh, e-bike here this coming weekend so I'm gonna be going up to Salt Lake where there's far more people therefore far more bikes to uh, buy, definitely be buying a used bike because there are no size large e-bikes anywhere in the world, as it turns out. Um, looking at a YT decoy 2019 model um, or a Focus Sam Squared uh, 2018 model. Look like they both have the same engine. I don't know that uh, Shimano made huge differences, huge changes from 2018-2019. Uh, One is 27.5 uh, tires. Uh, the other, of course, the YT is a mullet. Um, I'm leaning towards the YT, even though it's for about $300 more expensive. Uh, I just think, I don't know, there'd be more support for it. There'd be more things, yeah, more forums and people talking about it so I'll be able to find out information about it easier um, and parts availability I imagine it would be easier too maybe I don't know if you guys or gals have a uh, thought on that please by all means leave something in the comments um, I would appreciate that so maybe the next ride or the next uh, video you see of me will be on that bike I don't know uh, we'll talk about why I'm gonna get an e-bike instead of my fantastic, perfectly functional um, Trek Fuel EX5 uh, in a future video. In the meantime, let's get riding downhill, peeps. That's called trying to look like you're going fast when you're not, really. <laughs> I didn't have enough time to actually build up any speed or momentum. I apologize. 
That's horrendous. Did I mention it was uh, 95 degrees? And <laughs> I'm purposely not drinking any water just to uh, test myself because I'm an idiot. Uh, but seriously, I'm working on trying to not uh, mentally need too much water for racing, that sort of thing. What do you guys think about that sweet, sweet mouth cam? <laughs> Ooh, it sounded more like a, something from a different kind of video. I apologize. Deciding on the uh, shot angle is always really difficult. I don't know if you guys realize this or not, but I actually do try to put thought into my productions. <laughs> All right, everybody. So that's going to do it for this uh, little micro adventure here. Been out uh, for about an hour or so and I uh, had a lot of fun. Um, the uh, trail that I did, the course that I'm doing, it's probably about three and a half, four miles, maybe. Uh, normally can be done in, geez, 22, 23 minutes, something like that. Um, just the climbing takes a little while. The e-bike will fix that. Uh, anyhow, uh, you know what? How do you guys feel about e-bikes in general? Just curious. I didn't think anything of them until I made the horrible mistake of uh, trying one a month or so ago and uh, really opened my eyes to uh, the fact I could have fun going uphill. Um, and frankly, i got to be honest, I actually enjoy going uphill. I like the uh, difficulty of it. I like the feeling you get um, from the accomplishment of doing that. It's always been a lot of fun. Uh, painful fun, but it definitely limits my ability to spend time riding. Um, you know, if I don't feel 100% or even near 100%, it's really uh, difficult for me to get up here. I'd have two torn, uh, I got labrum torn in both of my hips and bone spurs and all kinds of good stuff, uh, surgery on both knees, etc. just like anybody, any old uh, Marine infantryman type of dude um, so that's to be expected but I appreciate you guys and gals tuning in um, if you would please for the love of God like and subscribe that would be awesome I'd love to see you guys and gals again you have a wonderful day take care That's horrendous. <laughs>